Hello everyone, today we're talking about Bucky in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. He had a great arc which contains a very nice life lesson. In this video, I'm gonna explain Bucky's arc and how it can help you in terms of personal growth. Let's get right into it. So Bucky starts the show trying to be a better person and forgetting his past after the Winter Soldier. He tries to make amends by stopping the people he helped as a Winter Soldier and saying sorry to his victims. Yuri is one of his victims because he killed his son. So Bucky tries to make amends by treating him well, but that doesn't change much for him. That is because there's something else he needs to do that can actually solve the problem and make him grow, but he's way too scared to do it. Yuri is often in sadness because he lost his son and he never knew why or how he got killed. Bucky knows why, in fact it was him of course. So he has to tell the truth, but it would be too confronting for him to reveal it. So he avoids it. His way of becoming a better person is just doing easy things like treating him to lunch and avoiding the main problem. However, even after that he's still having nightmares and feels broken. There's no progress for him by doing small tasks like saying sorry and avenging. I think this is relatable to us because we all have problems in our lives that we want to work on. And in that field of the problem, there's one thing we can do to fix it. But that thing is often confronting and scary. Maybe we need to quit an addiction or we're facing a tough decision or we need to have a tough conversation with someone. So instead, like Bucky, we reach for the small tasks that make us feel like we're progressing and like we're working on it. But in reality, we're just making ourselves feel better and avoiding the hard task. There's no progress. This is a small example, but I often watch video essays to be ready for my video. I sometimes think that I can get more inspiration or get new insights from other videos. But what I'm actually doing is avoiding that blank page because it is terrifying. Anyway, back to Bucky. He continues having nightmares of the Winter Soldier until he has a great talk with Sam. In this scene, Sam is gonna give Bucky some tough love and advice that can solve the problem for him and for us as well. Listen to what he says. Okay, so I could only find one small clip from this conversation, so I'm just gonna paraphrase this scene myself. Sam says, if you want to climb out of that hellhole you're in, do the work. Bucky says, I've been making amends. Sam replies with, you go to these people and say you're sorry because you think it would make you feel better, but you gotta make them feel better. You gotta go to them and be of service. And then Sam says this. I'm sure there's at least one person in that book who needs closure about something and you're the only person who can give it to him. I love this advice because Sam realizes that in order for Bucky to fully grow and let go of the Winter Soldier, he needs to do the scare thing and give people closure. He needs to accept that that is what he did and he's the only one that can make his victims feel better. That's the main task he has to do in order to fully grow. The same applies to us. If we want to grow or improve an area in our lives, we have to look at that scary thing as a main task and we have to do it. It's only that main task that can solve the problem. Now like I said before, this can be hard and confronting to think about. However, there is a way to make it easier. Watch what Sam says when Bucky talks about how many people he needs to give closure to. Okay, once again I could not find a clip so I'll say it myself again. Bucky says that he needs to give closure to dozens of people. So Sam says, that's cool, start with one. Sam realizes that it's okay if he needs to give closure to dozens of people, but he can start easy by starting with one person. This is great advice as well because one of the best ways to start something you want to work on, whether that's scary or hard, is to start easy. We don't need to overwhelm ourselves with all the hard work immediately, but as long as we're working on that main thing and not a relevant task, starting small can get you into momentum and push you in the right direction. I will elaborate on this in a bit, but first I'm gonna show you Bucky applying this advice and doing that scary thing. I love this bit in the final episode where he finally goes to Yuri and confesses. You see how hard it is for him, you see how big of a step it is, but he still does it. He was murdered. What? By the Winter Soldier. And that was me. This is the moment where he truly is a new person. 
And what's great about it is that you can see so much growth after he confesses. He finally finishes the book. He's done with therapy. You see him even exposing his arm like it's a part of him. He feels free and confident about it. And I also just love this very hopeful shot of both of Bucky's and Sam's growth. Now the way you can apply this advice and grow yourself is to ask yourself, what's that main thing you need to do that is scary but is also the only way to truly progress and grow out of your situation. This can be applicable to a lot of things, both big and small. Maybe you have been feeling stressed out about something and there's one tough decision that can get you out of that situation. Maybe you've been having mental health issues and you've been considering getting serious about it and maybe asking for help. Or it can also be small. Maybe you want to start losing weight but you see it as a hard lifestyle shift. Maybe you need to write an essay but you procrastinate by doing smaller tasks. Only by doing the work can we climb out of that hell. Now like I said before, these steps can feel hard and confronting. But there is a way to make it easier. Just like Bucky started with one person, we can start easy as well. If you need to have a tough conversation, just start with one sentence. Write just 50 words of that essay. If you want to lose weight, just start with going to the gym once. Or maybe just putting on your running shoes. As long as you're working on that main thing, make the first step as easy as possible. Whatever it is, start with one. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest guys. Uh, if there's anyone who needs to listen to this advice, it might be me. It's a long story, but I've been dealing with internal conflict for a long time and I know I need to fix it, but if I do, there are some very confronting things I might go through. So for a long time, I've repressed the idea of change and doing the hard thing. I've repressed it so much that I saw this video as advice for other people and didn't even take a second to look within me. But I think I should do the work and make the hard decision as well. And that's why I also stand behind this video because Bucky reminded me that I should make a hard decision as well. It's also why I make videos like these because I love how superheroes reflect real life and inspire us to do good. If you're interested in more of these videos so that you can get inspired by superheroes as well and grow as a person, hit the subscribe button to get notified for my next videos. I hope you got inspired by this video. If you did, drop me a like if you want. By the way, if anyone is interested, I just started a TikTok account where I make similar videos like these. I'm really enjoying it and I put out content that can give you a boost for the day and just interesting facts about superheroes in general. If you're interested, follow me there. Do you guys have any requests or video ideas? Let me know if you want to make a video about a certain character or topic in general. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.